Well, Jason Quigley, it's it's good to see you. It's been a while since we were talking. You're getting back into the ring again. I'm sure you're you're very excited now about uh, heading into camp and, and uh, returning to to what will be the national stadium summer that you haven't fought in in a very long time. Yeah, I've been uh, been in hiding there for a bit, Oshin, and uh, I'm back out of it now. So no, all's good. Uh, really looking forward to the return now on uh, April first. We had our press conference and everything today, which went really, really well. We've announced our opponent, Kim Polson, and, you know, it was good to, to get a look at him, get a size of him as well. And, uh, yeah, it's exciting times now ahead. Yeah, before we talk more about that, what what have you been doing with yourself? Because it's been a long time since you were, you were in the ring. We have to go back to November 2021. How have you kept yourself fresh? How have you kept yourself fit? And how have you kept yourself in shape where you need to be now entering into camp, Jason? Um, look, I think everybody knows me at this stage, really. Like, I never really leave the gym. Um, you know, once I got the go ahead after my last fight to get back training, get back uh, doing whether it may be light weights or cardio, whatever it was, I was straight back in the gym. And I've continued to do that throughout the whole period since the last fight. So I've been just staying in shape. I've been enjoying my, my time away, kind of, I suppose, as well from boxing and you know training camps and having a fight coming up I've, I've had some brilliant uh time to spend quality time with the family and you know do things there that i wouldn't usually get the opportunity to do on a normal day-to-day -day basis so i think that was important for me as well to surround myself with people with good intentions people that have love and care for you that you know will help guide you through difficult moments like the last fight and uh, get yourself back into the, the right frame of mind and get ready to roll again. Yeah. So you're feeling recharged physically and mentally then, Jason? Yeah, 100%. You know, um, I'm excited. There's a fire burning down inside me still. And, uh, you know, it's, it's something that was probably a lot of people were questioning. Um, what's the crack? Is, is he going to come back or what's the story? A lot of people have been sending it to me on the streets. A lot of people that I talked to has been sending it to me. Um, so I suppose I have no real, um, they have every right to say that because in a few interviews and stuff that I did do, there was times where I was pissed off. I was fed up with boxing and, you know, I was probably feeling a wee bit sorry for myself and says, uh, you know, forget about that old boxing game, and you go through that, you go through those phases, um, you know. But the last one was difficult to take. Um, it was obviously a difficult time. Someone, something you do your whole career, like my whole boxing career, was to the reason that I started was to become world professional champion, and you know I got to that moment and it was snatched away from me very quickly. So it was, it was, it was hard to deal with. It was hard to take. But as it says, you know, I, I surrounded myself in the right environment with the right people around me and uh, took a bit of downtime to, to let the emotions settle and to, to give myself a kick up the ass and stop feeling sorry for myself and, and get back uh, get back to work again. Yeah, I don't want to dwell on that defeat, but you were part of a scenario where you were going to fight for a world title, Jason. Is that where you want to get back to now in this next phase, this new start, this new phase of Jason Quigley? Um, not really. I don't want to get back to the stage of fighting for a world title. I want to get back to the stage of winning a world title. That's, yeah. I think, something that I have to really nice fight and talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I really gotta, I really gotta change those, because that was always something like it was always yeah. kind of a goal to go and fight for a world title. And you know, sure, what good's fighting for it if you can't take it home with you? Like, do you know what I mean? And yeah. that's a, uh, that's a uh, just a little. A little change and a little uh, shift of mindset there that is uh, that has been taken over recently. Yep. How important is it then this first fight on this next phase for you? Depends on the way you look at it. Like, um, this is my world title fight again. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Because you, you have know, to treat every fight now like that. Hundred percent. Because any slips now, like you know. It's twice as long to get back up there again. Whereas, you know, I'm in a great position still in my career. Like, I have a great record. I've, I've had some very high-quality fights and, and the highest of stages, been to the world level, been to the top. 
Um, so one or two fights is going to just put me straight back into a world title fight again. But it's a matter of, personally for myself, you know, I'm very confident, very, always being confident in my ability and the achievements that I can achieve in this sport. So it's important now for me to get in there and put on the performances that I know that I have inside me. And uh, it all kicks off now on April 1st. Yeah, You did, of course, won a national senior title in the national stadium. You won various other fights, big fights there. At, at the Dublin venue, you're the, you're the headline act. It's taken a while, Jason, in your pro career for you to do this, so it has. Yeah, it's, um, I think, you know, there's there's a kind of underlying purpose as well behind this card and this show and, and me coming back to headline um, Ireland and the National Stadium. Like, boxing has been great to me throughout my career. It's, um, you know... Sometimes I don't know who I am without boxing, really. Like, you know, yeah, anybody mentions Jason Quigley, it's the boxer. So um, it's been a massive part of my life. Um, yes, sometimes not so good days, but, you know, it's been a great, great part of my life. And recently and over the years, professional boxing in Ireland has, has taken a hard hit. And this is me now really wanting to put Irish professional boxing, the Republic of Ireland professional boxing back on the map again. And I think it's an incredible card. It's an iconic venue. This stadium is purposely built for boxing. There's only two in the world, like the National Stadium and then I think one out in Thailand somewhere. So it's an iconic venue. It's an unbelievable setup. And, you know, I really can't wait to get in there now and to, to get into that ring as a professional and uh, start making even more great memories uh, to add to the, the journey that I'm on already. Yep. Milster Paulson will be no slouch. He's got 31s on his career, so he has, Jason. So he's, he's been around the block and he knows how to take victories. Yeah, you know, it's... um, I think a lot of people, I think, expected me, you know, just at the press conference today, like they kind of expected me to come back against somebody that was like... had. 10, 20, 15 losses or something, you know, somebody that was a guaranteed knockover job. Um, but that's not what I'm here to do. Like I'm I'm not, as I say, you know, I'm not just in here now to to fight in Dublin, to fight in the National Stadium my first time as a pro and just tick that off the list. Like that's not the reason I'm here. Like I and I know that this I know that this show tickets have just um gone on early bird access there today. So I know this show is going to be a sellout as well. And it costs money to buy tickets. It costs money for people to stay up in Dublin at night. Hotel prices are getting a wee bit crazy these days. So I'm getting in there and I want a good competitive fight for myself, of course, but for the people that's coming up, that's traveling, that's spending their hard-earned money. Like, you know, I don't want them just to walk in there and, know what's already going to happen like I want you know I want to give back to the people that have supported me throughout my whole career even when I was in America even when I was in England you know and give them the chance now to to come up and and, and support me here in the in the capital of our country yeah a lot of other Irish fighters involved we can't forget about our own Brett McGinty as well he's going to be in the card so it's a it's a good bill Jason yeah it's a great bill you know we have Brett McGinty who fought here in the National Stadium uh, in November Brought a great crowd from Donegal up with him. No, no better. No, a no crowd. Bet, <laughs> all right, no better crowd. Um, you know, Brett put on a great performance, and he'll be looking to do the same now as well on April first. And you know, we have uh, a newly signed fighter as well, Tyler Jolly, Scottish lad. He was uh, the Commonwealth bronze medalist and Commonwealth youth gold medalist. So he just signed uh, today, and he'll be making his pro debut there. We've got uh, Paddy, the real deal, Donovan on the undercard as well. He signed with top rank in the United States. He's going to be on there. And we have uh, a massive domestic clash between uh, James McGivern and Tony McGlynn. They're going to be fighting for the Celtic super featherweight title on the night, which is going to be a cracker as well. And then we've got Paddy Walsh, Liam Walsh, Edward Donovan, Paddy's brother. You know, it's, it's a really quality card. And everybody that I've mentioned are all national champions as amateurs. Do you know, like, 
these aren't lads that's just coming in to sell a few tickets or be on the card. Like these are high quality, world ranked fighters. You know, and and amateur boxing stepping in out of the pro ranks. So it's a it's a quality card. Really looking forward to it, and it'll be uh be one hell of a night in the stadium. Yeah, and it's something Irish boxing needs as well, Jason. This is this is a good bill, so it is, and it's a first partnership as well with Elite and and Sheer Sports. So so it's all new, but it's been sort of missing for this last while an event like this. Yeah, like there's there's been nothing like this for a long, long time, and everybody knows the Irish love love boxing. They love fighting. Do you know what I mean? It's it's a very popular sport in in Ireland, and it's a very passionate sport in Ireland. And the fans are unbelievable. Like they deserve they deserve this, and they deserve much bigger. And this partnership between um, ourselves, Sheer Sports, and Elite, like. This is only the start of it. This is something now that we have a journey planned out ahead of us to to bring boxing back and not just to bring it back, but to, to bring it back big, like and to have big cards, big shows, big fights, and uh, yeah, have those uh, big fight nights exciting again in, in the Republic. Yeah. I know you're very much focused on the task at hand and you have to fight this Danish guy now on, on the 1st of April, but there's another bill coming up down the line where, of course, Katie Taylor is going to headline uh, in Dublin and, and the three arena. There has been talk, there has been whispers and whistles that Jason Quigg is going to be part of that. Is there anything yet coming from your end, Jason, to, su- to suggest that you'll be part of that Taylor Serrano bill on May 20th? Look, I have been reached out to by... Um... Katie's team um, and uh, Matchroom so it is a possibility uh, there's no guarantees The there's no even guarantees where it's going to be yet so yeah. you know there's there's no green light on anything as such yet but there definitely is a possibility but as you said you know first and foremost now April 1st get in there going to put on a great performance get a great victory under my belt and move forward into uh into then whatever potential, you know, opportunity comes its way. There's, there's a, as I says, look, there's a lot of big, big fights out there for me. Um, whether it may be over in the states and New York, whether it be over in LA again, but there's massive fights out there for me that, that have been approached to me. So, you know, we just got to weigh our options up. But first and foremost, you know, we get in there and take care of Paulson on uh, April first. Okay. Well, listen. We look forward to what the future brings for, for Jason Quigley, as always. Delighted to get talking to you again. It's good to have you back, Jason. So it Great is- to be back, Oisin. Great to be back, lad. And uh, hopefully many more now, sir. Hopefully many more. Yeah. Well, listen, good to talk to you. And the best of luck with camp. And we'll be talking to you in the on the 1st of April, Jason. Brilliant. Appreciate it, lad. Thank you.